Am I the asshole for calling out a co-worker who refused to pronounce my name correctly? I am Irish, live in Germany. My name is traditionally Irish, and while incredibly popular at home it is practically unheard of outside of Ireland. I started a new job in October and Brian joined the team at the end of February. I work in editorial, he in sales. He was introduced to me by our department head, who referred to me by name. We also did a, getting to know you, round in a weekly meeting. In both instances, my name was pronounced correctly, both by myself and my DH. However, Brian continues to mispronounce it. Only slightly, but enough to notice it and turn it into a totally different name. Think, Cali, rather than, Kelly, and you're on the right track. He has been told repeatedly, no it's Kelly, not Cali. At a meeting earlier today he mentioned myself and another content team member who he would be working with on an upcoming project. We had the following exchange. Brian. Are there questions? Me. Yes, the guy who wrote Swan Lake, the ballet. Do you know his name? B. A. Tchaikovsky? M. Yes, correct. And if you can say his name correctly, you can say mine correctly too. It's a basic level of respect and I'm not tolerating it any longer. D.H. came in then to thank Brian for his presentation and continue the meeting. After it, Brian messaged me on our chat program to tell me how I had embarrassed him in front of everyone. What I had done was uncalled for, and made him look bad as a new person joining the team. I didn't respond, but am I the asshole for saying it in the meeting rather than to him personally? Edit to add. Some FAQs. Brian is English. He is not German. No one on my team is. English is his first language. Yes, I have corrected him. In person. Many a time. So have other team members, and my DH. His response is dismissive. Yeah okay, whatever. So anyway. Brian is mid to late 20s, as are the majority of my co-workers. His accent is not the issue. I studied in the area of the UK he comes from. I have friends who also went to uni there, and come from the area. They can pronounce it correctly. My name sounds similar to a large sporting organization but with a letter omitted. This organization also makes video games. He is able to pronounce this organization. How he mispronounces my name, makes it sound more similar to a Pokemon. The one that has at least 10 possible evolutions. My actual name, and what Brian calls me, has now been mentioned more times than I can count here. Don't get offended when I ask you to read the comments rather than tell you what it is. Take some initiative. Am I the asshole for asking my husband to not be near our daughter during her physical therapy? I, 42 female, have 3 kids, 18 female, 16 male, 14 female, with my husband, 45 male. My husband has always been the disciplinarian and tends to yell and scream insults a lot and get mad quite easily, and our kids don't have the best relationship with him due to this. Our youngest was in a car accident, and experienced a spinal cord injury and is currently going trough physical therapy, and some surgeries. She is doing some practice at home and I don't want my husband there a lot when she's going trough the therapy, or at the hospital picking her up and dropping her off for surgery, as he may instinctively get mad at her messing something up or him being there may make her feel worried that he's going to get mad. She has also asked me to try and get him to not be there. I confronted him and told him that because he wants to help them he may get mad easily and upset her when she needs to be as positive as possible, and knowing him he may worry about grades and let that blind him from worrying about her. He said that he would be there and that as a father he had the right to get mad when his children make mistakes. I told him that she really needed support during this time and that knowing he tends to be very disciplinary I would not be letting him near her during this time. He told me that there was nothing stopping him and I said that I would divorce him if he acted the same way. He told me I was being a f c king psycho and I am starting to think that he is right and maybe I am overreacting in not letting him be there during this time, am I the asshole? <laughs> am I the asshole for kicking my parents out of the house after they make mean comments about my work? I have a freelance job. I also work with OnlyFans and Escort, which is my biggest source of income. Don't worry community moderators, I won't say anything NSFW. My audience is very specific and they are not for that. And I'm not American. After three years working like this, I bought a 3BD, 2 ba house with my own effort and it's great for me as I'm single and I don't have kids. My parents, after several irresponsible and financially dumb decisions, 
were no longer able to pay the rent on the house they lived in. My parents and I aren't close, as they disagreed and were very judgmental about my life decisions, as were my brothers. But I welcomed them at home until they were able to stabilize, since my brothers couldn't receive them because they didn't have space. They've been living with me for three months. My work is inside my office and it has always been said that no one could enter that place, even to clean. My brothers came to visit us on Wednesday and started talking. In one of the conversations that was taking place, my brother talked about being facing financial difficulties and my mother said the following sentence. Oh, do like your sister, take bitch pictures and post them on the internet, she got a house because she's pretty. You're pretty too, maybe you can, and laughed. She also started to say that she was afraid of my office, as it was frighteningly creepy. I asked how she knew what my office was like and she said she peeked in after seeing I accidentally left the door unlocked one day. After this, my parents made some salty comments and I, angry, said in a not too serious tone, oh, at least I don't live at my kid's house. My parents were embarrassed and I confirmed it again, seriously this time, I'm serious, the door is open for you to leave, dinner is obviously over and again when my brothers were leaving, I with the door open still asked if my parents weren't leaving too. My parents packed their things and went to a hotel. They sent a message saying that I shouldn't be so sensitive with comments about my work and that I shouldn't be surprised that people think so. And that I had overreacted by kicking them out of my house for silly comments. My whole family is on their side and that at the very least I should help pay for the hotel they are staying in, because they are there because of me. I don't know if I overreacted and went too far, but I don't tolerate being disrespected. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for kicking my sister out of my house after she didn't respect my house rules? Info. Me and my fiancé have a king-size bed plus both of us are somewhat of a germaphobe and we usually try to clean our house every day to every two days. Long story short, I, 29M, I'm a corporate lawyer and my fiancé, 31F, is a real estate agent and we usually get home quite late, around 7-10pm-ish. My sister, 23F, was kicked out from my parents' house after she failed to pay rent for seven months and we offered her to stay at our house for the time being. Our house rules were pretty clear, not to touch any of the drawers in mine and my fiancé's room and nor to sleep in it at night as we have two guest rooms fully decked out and also the fact that when we come home we are pretty tired and usually want to sleep right away and also she has to clean her room and has to throw away her garbage. For a few weeks she followed our house rules but all of a sudden one day my fiancé came home earlier than expected at 5.30 p.m.-ish and found my sister and her girlfriend in our bed doing the devil's tango. My fiancé got enraged and kicked her girlfriend out of our house and warned her to never do it again or she would be kicked out. We thought she had learned her lesson and would never do it again but last week me and my fiancé had a function to attend to and we told my sister that we might be late. When we were traveling to the function my wife started to feel sick and we drive home immediately. When I opened the door but it was unlocked. I thought my sister had forgotten to lock it. My fiancé rushed to our room heading for the washroom but when she opened the door she found my sister and her girlfriend tangling in our bed again. She got furious and kicked both of them out and told my sister that if she couldn't adhere to basic decency she wouldn't be allowed here. The day after, I packed all of my sister's belongings and dropped it to her girlfriend's place. When I tried to talk to her she called me and my fiancé assholes for kicking her out and was mad at me for, abandoning, her when no one was there for her. Am I the asshole? <laughs>